Okay, in this tutorial we're just going to go over the Suzuki reaction. Um, if you've looked at the Heck reaction, um, it's very, very similar. Apart from instead of using an alkene, we can use these boronic esters or boronic acid, depending on whether they're R groups, a proton or an alkyl group. There. Um, yeah, if, you, if you've not actually seen um, the Heck reaction, have a look in the tutorials because uh, they'll be up there and uh, I recommend you have a look at it. It goes into uh, well, it's a similar kind of detail, but you get to get to feel how closely related these reactions are. So what we have here in the reaction scheme is we've got um, oxidative addition into the uh, alkyl, uh, sorry, the aryl bromide. Uh, Stabilisation again by the triphenyl phosphine ligands. Um, this time slightly different. We're using a base here, which is not. Um, it's usually uh, an ethoxide type of base. Oh, sorry, an alkoxide type of base. I've, I'm using ethoxide down below in the catalytic cycle, which I'll show you in a minute. And then you get um, um, exchange of this R group with the the base uh, attacks here, and then you get reductive elimination to give uh, this species here your product. And it's a very good reaction. Okay, so this is a catalytic cycle. It's a little bit more at the bottom. Just show you that, um, and I'll come to that uh, when the time comes. So um, we have this um, catalyst, which is again the first starting point in the catalytic cycle. We have palladium zero with um, we'll have four triphenyl phosphines there. I'll put two on because that's um, two will get kicked off, and then two will be there to stabilize it and make it. It does neaten it up if I do it this way. Get oxidative addition um, into the uh, aryl bromide bond there, and then we get the exchange of the bromide for uh, the base. Now it could be t-butyl or some other uh, alkoxide base. It it doesn't really matter uh, because that's going to come off in a minute anyway. So we've got the uh, so long as it's not too sterically uh, crowded. And then we got um, then we get um, this species here, and this species. It's part of um, is involved with some other cycle which is going on with the uh, boric uh, boronic ester here so the the ester uh, reacts with the base to form this species here and the borate which then transfers the alkyl group onto palladium and exchanges it with uh, the ethoxide and this crashes out here like so to give us this species here so basically it coordinates so boron will be here like so and you'd have your R group here like that and your other bits and bobs or, or, or ET. okay and what it'd do it it'd coordinate in there like that and then you get exchange, the, the R group would go across and then the um, th then the OET would come, come, come out and attack the boron like that. So that exchanges uh, the ethoxide for the R group there like that and then you get reductive elimination to give palladium zero again like this. So that's a reductive, write that down, reductive Oops, it's not very good this pen, I should have typed this out really. Reductive, oops, really struggling here. Elimination, and this is, this is the, this step here is the oxidative addition. Okay, and that is the uh, Suzuki reaction.